Well, hello there. This is um, homework lesson number two. Um, some explanation of properties of acids and bases. They're different, definitely different. Um, so I'll talk through some of these and I'll do um, all the odd number problems for you and um, hope that it helps. Number one, a substance that exhibits a sour taste. Okay, things like sour candy, um, oranges, lemons, those are acids. Those have acid in them. That's what makes them sour. Number three, a substance that is an electrolyte. Okay, so when acids dissociate, they give off the hydrogen ion. That makes something an electrolyte because it had their charges in there. Also, hydroxide is given off when um, a base dissociates. So both of these things will create um, a pathway for electrical charges, which is what an electrolyte is. So both acids and bases are electrolytes. Number five, a substance feels slippery to the touch because it dissolves on the surface of the skin. Okay, this one's kind of cool. Um, I don't recommend that you go play in your mom's bleach, but bleach is a really good example. If you've ever had to do laundry and you've used bleach, if you get it on your skin, it doesn't burn, but it feels really slippery. Okay, um, bleach is a base. Um, soap, soap um, that you shower with, that's a base. Uh, dish soap, all those things are bases, okay? Bases have that slippery uh, feel to them. Number seven, uh, substance is a proton donor. Okay, that would be a Bronsted Lowry. What? Acid or base? Proton donors. So that means it's giving off a proton. So what is that? A Bronsted Lowry acid or a base? Yup, it's an acid. And number nine, a substance that releases hydroxide ions into a solution. Okay, um, anything that has the hydroxide, um, aluminum hydroxide, uh, sodium hydroxide, uh, calcium hydroxide, all those are bases. Okay, they'll break apart and they'll give off that hydroxide, okay, in solution. So, a substance that releases hydroxide ions is a base. Okay, good luck with the rest of them. I know you can do it. These are easy.